Hey people, what can I tell you? The VAX is on its way, but immunization experts are divided on whether or not this is safe. Look at this. Coronavirus vaccines about to be jabbed into arms worldwide are being rushed and may not be safe, an Australian expert warns. But, this, but his colleague argues they should be fast-tracked and available within weeks to keep Australians safe from future outbreaks and stimulate the economy. The conflicting views from top immunology experts on whether any vaccine is safe yet came as Scott Morrison plans to roll out two of them in March. Britain this week approved the Pfizer bio and tech jab and plans to inject the elderly from next week. The jab will first be handed to health workers and the vulnerable, including the elderly Indigenous Australians. <laughs> Australia has ordered millions of doses of each and the first batch of Astra Zeneca vials are due to arrive from Britain on December 28. Both vaccines are expected to be approved. Of course, they want them approved. The number of active cases in Australia has remained in single digits for weeks, but immunisation experts are split over whether it is too early to inoculate the population. Listen, people, the way that I look at this, if the so-called experts are divided, I ain't touching the shit. I'm not touching it anyway, but if they're divided, that gives you more cause not to touch it. The phase three studies for Pfizer vaccine aren't finished yet, so we can only see preliminary data. If we go down here a little bit more, we can see what, according to this, but they, they have been known to lie, you know? I mean, Morrison did come out and say that it wasn't compulsory to download the tracing app. And yet look what we have coming out here in WA and the rest of Australia, where if you don't have the app at the door of a restaurant, gym, yada, 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 you won't be allowed in. So what happened to the not compulsory to download? The injection will be optional. Optional. In Australia. And the government has no plans to apply the no jab, no pay rule that stops parents getting some welfare payments if they refuse to vaccinate their children against other illnesses. The jab will be first handed to health workers and the vulnerable, such as the elderly and Indigenous Australians. Children are not classed as vulnerable and will not be prioritised. Vaccine will then be offered to the general public, with all Australians who want the jab uh, expected uh, expected to be vaccinated by the end of 2021. Like I said, people, they've been known to lie. If they're divided over this, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? But they are forcing people okay they are forcing people we are on track for decisions with the uh, early vaccines by the end of january we are on track for first vaccinations beginning with our health workers and our aged care residents subject to approvals in march so health care workers will be told if you don't obviously get the vaccination, you won't have a job. So again, blackmail. 
To me, that's all blackmail. So be careful, people. Too late to cry later, like I always say. Too late to cry later, you know. Once that's in your arm, no getting it out. So, yeah, choose wisely is all I've got to say.